Coming up on Mobile Learning in the Classroom, Apple Watch for Teachers. Hi, my name is Guy Training and this is Mobile Learning in the Classroom and today we're talking some more about Apple Watch apps for teachers and this is because I've been exploring this and I'm having a lot of fun looking at new ways I can use a, the Apple Watch which is a smartwatch and I'm going to talk about a few apps that I'm still finding useful and I hope that other teachers will too. So the first app that I want to talk about is the dictionary app. Now uh, I've talked about the dictionary app before and I love it in multiple formats whether it's on Chrome or uh, as an app on the in iOS or anywhere else but it's fairly simple you just uh, click on the app, you do a search, and this is a voice search, and then um, it finds those words, and this is, you do a search, pandemonium, and you have to click done, and then it gives you the pronunciation, it gives you the, uh, the definitions, the first few definitions, and then if you want more than that, you have to switch to your main device. So it's very basic, but it does do what you want to do on the phone, because beyond that, you probably want to have a much richer device where you can see more all at once. But this is a quick way to get a definition for a word you're looking for as you're writing without disrupting, without uh, switching screens or anything else. So this is the dictionary app. The second thing I wanted to show, uh, which I, again, I find uh, very useful, is I use my Evernote quite uh, often. And there is an Evernote uh, app and it allows you to look at the notes, the systematic notes that you've made throughout, including the pictures. And obviously, if there's a snapshot with a lot of details, it's going to be hard to see it on the phone. So you can see here I have a picture and uh, this is not something that would be readable. It will be readable on the phone. But if you have a note that's just written, just typed, uh, or the pictures is, uh, are large enough, then you can easily read through your notes uh, without having to switch devices or without having to uh, really go really deeply into uh, the device that you have on. So it's a quick way to get into your notes as you're meeting with students or as you're meeting with other teachers. So this is um, Evernote. Probably my favorite app um, that I th I'm just having a lot of fun with is iTranslate. And iTranslate allows you to work with multiple languages and translate from English to that language very easily. It's good in a language classroom. It's good if you've got English language learners and you want to communicate them if you're traveling or just learning a language. So this is now set to, it to translate to Italian, but a hard push uh, on the phone allows me to change language. And you can see that these are the popular languages, right? The most common ones, but there's actually a lot more. And if you scroll through all of these, you can see that there's a vast array of languages and multiple versions of each. So you can translate to Filipino. Let's uh, take a word. And you can see that the input here can be a voice input in English or uh, scribbling, so writing with your finger. So let's do a, a voice input. Sorry. English. Singing. And you have to remember to do done. And this is English to Filipino and it's working. And you get uh, the answer. Some of the languages actually will speak it for us. Uh, the more common languages, others will just give you a transliterated um, representation. So this is iTranslate. I recommend just playing with it. It's a free app and um, just lots of fun. The last one that I want to talk about is a camera app. Now the camera obviously is not available on the phone. The phone does not have a camera in it, which I think is a good idea. But what it can do is it can actually be a remote control to your phone camera. So if I switch this on, 
uh, what comes on is my uh, phone is sitting right next to me and that comes on. So if you want to position your phone somewhere else or you're using it uh, to capture, for example, yourself teaching or students or you want to be in the picture through all of this, you can use this and you have a three second um, delay which allows you to take a picture and not take a picture with your finger on the uh, phone or it allows you to take pictures without actually holding your phone if they're on it's on a tripod or just set somewhere and uh, all you need to do is press and I just took a picture and that picture shows up on my phone but it also shows up here so uh, you have and clear idea and you also have an idea obviously as you're looking through about a uh, what's going on. So uh, this is the camera app and uh, lots of other apps that I'm exploring and I hope that in the near future I'll be able to share them. Um, this is Mobile Learning in the Classroom and I'll see you soon.